Hey, Perry here, Taylor Sound, tip of the day. Well, if you've ever walked into a rehearsal space, you've probably seen one of these, a mixing board. Now, it's, if you've never really played around with a mixing board, it can be kind of intimidating, but it's really quite simple. If you see these long rows here, this is one channel strip. So this is where the microphone comes in. It goes down through all these components, ends up at the fader, and then it goes to your master section. Your master section is over here. So just keep in mind when you start plugging things in is you're sending the signal right here. This is where it starts. This is your gain. This is your first uh, ability to control the gain. And so you adjust this. Usually start at about 50%. Then it's going to go through a couple other things like a pad and if you need phantom power. Um, a high pass filter. We'll get into that at some other date. But this is the EQ where you can adjust the highs, lows, and the mids. Then this is your auxiliary section where you can have effects, outboard effects, and turn the gain up or down. Um, this is another effects uh, area. And sometimes you, on mixers you can use this to turn up the monitor mix. So if you have a separate monitor mix, you can turn that signal to a particular monitor. Then your fader. So you want to get your, uh, your gain structure set so where you can adjust this fader up and down uh, on the fly. So as you're rehearsing, if you're like, well, my vocal's too, too loud, let, let me just turn it down a little bit. Um, you might have to go back up here to the gain to get your structure right, but if you get these to, to the right place, you should be able to adjust everything from right down here. And then with these buttons down here, I'm not going to go into too much, it sends it over to the master section. And this master fader sends the signal to the speakers. So obviously you're going to need to sit down with your manual, but if you've never played around with this, it's pretty simple. These all these lines are just one channel. So just keep in mind, it. the channel starts here, ends here, sends it over to here. That's how most uh, mixers are set up. So when you can start looking at these and know kind of how it goes, it comes down through here, sends it over to here, maybe that'll help you get started next time you run into a, a rehearsal space and you're like, how does this work? So hope that helps. Rock on.